So he does too. Come on. Yuck! Why does that smell? Who are you calling smelly? You shouldn't be able to smell me. Unless I feel threatened. If I feel scared, I will create a horrible smell from some glands near my bottom. So don't scare me. Tell us about yourself. Certainly, Julian. We are omnivorous. We eat meat and vegetables. The meat we eat consists of insects such as beetles, grasshoppers, crickets, earthworms, snails, wasps and ants. We even eat honeybees, relying on our thick fur not to get stung. We may also eat frogs, mice and squirrels. We also eat plants such as blackberries, raspberries, blueberries and nuts. We tend to eat meat through the spring and summer and fruit over the winter. We sometimes even sneak into gardens and steal cat food. Can you imagine a diet like that? I haven't got very many predators, as the usual attackers, wolves, foxes and badgers, are scared of getting sprayed. The only animal that really attacks skunks is the great horned owl. This is because great horned owls don't have a very good sense of smell. In certain countries, you are allowed to keep skunks as pets. It is possible to get us distinct which means an operation where the smelly part is removed. It hurts a lot though. We live in burrows or beneath buildings, boulders or a rock pile. Males live by themselves, but females often live together. At Trotter's World of Animals there are three females. In the wild, striped skunks come from North America and Canada, like the bald eagle. We live in woodlands, grasslands and farmland. We can also be found in towns and cities. I'm sorry I called you smelly. It's alright. Are you having fun at Trotters? Yes! Come on guys, let's go and see my friends, the Golden Guernsey Goats. Are they really golden? Here we are. These are my good friends, the Golden Guernsey Goats. They really are golden! Actually, their coats range from golden to brown. Golden Guernsey Goats are a rare breed of goat. They were once domestically bred all over Europe for milk, which is rich and yummy. They are very friendly and love attention. They live in groups at Trotter's World of Animals. There are two nanny goats, females, and a young billy goat, male, called Mick. Golden Guernsey goats like to eat lots of different things, not just grass. Get too close and they might even eat you. Ew! I'm joking. Come on, let's go see the reptiles. I love snakes. I'm wizards too. I have some really good friends there. Come and see. Here they are. Hello, Julian. Hello, why don't you tell us about yourself? Alright, well, I'm a female plumed basilisk. I'm also called a green basilisk, or a Jesus Christ lizard, because people think I can walk on water. Really, I just run so fast over the water surface, my feet hardly touch it. I'm originally from South America, where it's lovely and warm. I love to eat bugs called locusts. They try to get away from me, but I sit so still, they don't notice me and I just eat them up in one gulp. I eat other insects too, and also small lizards and small mammals. I'm this lovely green colour, so I can blend in amongst the trees and leaves. But sometimes animals do see plume basilisks, and they like to eat us, animals like birds of prey and snakes. Apparently, they think I'm yummy, but you wouldn't eat me, would you? I love swimming and can sit underwater for up to 30 minutes. That's a long time. Thank you. You're really interesting. Thank you. Let's go and see the tapirs. Why is their nose like that? Like an elephant, the tapirs use their long nose to get food from the trees or ground. They eat only vegetables and don't like meat. They eat leaves, buds, shoots and small branches that they take from trees. They also like fruit. Brazilian tapirs are very shy creatures, preferring to live in a very small family group. They live near water in the Amazon rainforest. They like swimming and use their funny long noses to squirt themselves and their friends to cool down. The two tapirs at Trotter's World of Animals are called Muffin and Rio, and are a boy and a girl. I think they're very cute. What else is there to see, Julian? There are lots more animals to see at Trotter's.
There is also the outdoor play area. Looks really fun. An indoor play area. A scrummy cafe if you get hungry. The food's all homemade and delicious. Oh, yum! And the gift shop. Yay! Now we've seen everything. Did you have fun at Trotter's World of Animals? We had lots of fun. We'd love to come back again someday and see all the lovely things. See you soon. Bye, Bye Julian! Julian. Trotter's World of Animals you can see lots of lovely animals from all over the world. There are special keeper talks, a wonderful cafe and lots more exciting things to do. It really is a great day out.